decidedly yesterday was a black day for Honda. Not only did their overall leader, Ricky Brabeck, quit the rally after engine failure, Kevin Benavides was then slapped with a three-hour penalty for concealing unauthorized road notes on his bike. The Japanese Giants last won the rally in 1989 with Gilles Lelay, and their 30-year wait for Dakar glory goes on. Additional notes on the roadbook are forbidden. Benavides exploited a minor loophole in the regulations by putting notes on his bike. And we have all the necessary proof that he put those notes on his bike. And what's more, he concealed them, and we didn't like that. He hid them at the start of the special. There are officials and technical commissaires present, and the notes were hidden under a black band. At the start of the special, he took the band off, and the extra notes were there with directions and everything. We gave him a three-hour penalty for anti-sporting behaviour. There was a further twist this morning as Sam Sunderland saw his hopes of a second Dakar victory vanish. The KTM rider given a one-hour penalty as a result of the Irritrack problem he suffered before Stage 8. I don't know if we're going to appeal the decision. A fuse went. Was it intentional? It depends on their interpretation. They say it was, Sam says it wasn't, and we have a tendency to believe him. So after all of that behind-the-scenes drama, it was time to focus on the rally. 313 kilometers of special to cover in this penultimate stage under the tricky loop around the dunes of Pisco. Perhaps a final chance for the outsiders to try to put some time into Price and Quintanilla. However, that was always going to be a tall order with another mass start on the menu in this ninth stage. The top riders gathering on the sand near the Pisco bivouac knowing it would take something special to give their rivals the slip. Gentlemen, start your engines. Well, as predicted, the top guns have stayed with each other through the Ica dunes, making it very, very difficult to get away and gain time. Riders getting a chance to catch their breath at checkpoint one after 188 kilometers. It's not easy. At one point we were all looking for a waypoint, which I found. I was the only one who found it. I saw Adrien try to get his attention, but so did the others. It's very hard to get away. Now it turned out to be a memorable day for Frenchman Michael Metch, who set off in the second group. The former Honda man who joined Sherco this year, claiming his first ever Dakar stage win. He came in just ahead of Daniel Nasiglia in an excellent second place. The Bolivian, the last member of his family, still going at this Dakar after his brother and father, both Walter, quit the rally in the early stages. But a fantastic day for Mech. In the end, a victory. Incredible. I never would have believed it. I had already won on the Dakar once before, but I got a penalty. But I think I'll keep hold of this one. It's amazing to win a special on the Dakar. All eyes on the tactical game of cat and mouse between the favourites. Pablo Quintanilla finishing just one second ahead of the overall leader, Toby Price. But disaster striking for Adrian Van Beveren, who had around 10 minutes to make up on the day. The Yamaha man suffering the same fate as Ricky Brabeck. Engine failure with just 17 kilometers of the special remaining. I lost my oil. I could feel the gearbox starting to slip about 20 kilometers ago. I tried to save it, but it's over. No words. So much effort. <laughs> One year of work, of total construction, reconstruction, complete. and to stop now. <laughs> yeah, 
vivent dans la vie, la route tourne. Elle a du mal à tourner dans le bon sens pour moi. Stress for Van Beveren and Price, in spite of getting stuck at one point in the dunes, maintains his overall lead. Still struggling with that wrist injury, but the Australian is on the cusp of a second Dakar title. It's still anyone's race, so uh, it's going to be very difficult. Um, yeah, Pablo is going to definitely put on a charge tomorrow, and um, if I can make the podium, I'm going to be really stoked with this. And um, yeah, that's just going to be consistent being on the podium, so I'm I'm, I'm happy there. But yeah, it definitely would be nice to try and get another win. So Metch taking the stage, win his first at the Dakar ahead of Nasiglia, Quintanilla, Walkner, and Price making up the top five on the day. These are the figures that count. Price with one minute and two seconds ahead of Quintanilla, walking at the only man who can realistically win apart from the top two. Nicolas Cavigliasa was pipped to the stage victory by Manuel Andujar in the quads today, but the Argentine still has a massive lead of one hour and 40 minutes heading into the final stage. More importantly, he demonstrated the true Dakar spirit by stopping to help out injured biker Anthony Borso.